Hello everyone, it is me, Julianne. I just want to do an update <clears throat> regarding our embryo transfer, which was yesterday. Um, our embryo transfer was yesterday. And <clears throat> let me back up a little bit. As I said in previous videos, um, we got 15 eggs. I'll go over this really quick because I know most of you probably saw my other videos. We got 15 eggs. Um, we did ICSI due to male factor infertility. Uh, they need a little help. So we uh, injected one sperm into each egg to improve fertilization. And um, of those 15 eggs, only three fertilized. So that's very bad. Usually 60 to 70% of the eggs will fertilize. Um, so we were really upset about that. But the next day after we got the fertilization report, um, we were told that all three were perfect. I mean, they were they were perfect. They couldn't have been any better. So we were happy with having three really good quality embryos. Um, we went to Seattle Reproductive, and they grade good, fair, or poor. So all of our embryos were good, which is the best uh, quality grade they give. Um, <clears throat> so rewind, or fast forward, I should say, to yesterday which was our day five blastocyst transfer. We went in there thinking that we still had three good quality embryos, because we didn't hear otherwise. Um, <clears throat> and once we walked in there, they told us one of them died. It stopped growing, it stopped splitting, um, so they discarded it, which was sad. Uh, and then the other two dropped from a good grade to fair, um, which was kind of devastating to me, to be totally honest. Uh, I pretty much feel like our chances went out the window, um, which is so negative, I know. <clears throat> and according to the embryologist, he said, we still have a great chance. I'm young and healthy. And so, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, I would have loved to have one to freeze, you know, just in case, and then two good quality. So, um, we don't have anything frozen. This is really it. You know, as you guys know, IVF is so expensive and we have spent everything on this and we really don't have another shot, at least not for a very long time. And my husband, um, is 34 and he would not, you know, he, he doesn't want to bring a baby home when he's 40. So, um, sorry, my recorder looks like it's about to stop. Ah, so anyways, um, they put back the two embryos we do have, which are both fair grade and we're, you know, the procedure was easy, quick. Um, and now we wait. So my beta is on the 28th and I'm sure I'm not going to make it that long. So I'll probably test, I think this Friday or Saturday, which is four to five days past transfer and we'll see what happens. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic. I just feel kind of, I don't know. I just feel really nervous. My husband is extremely optimistic and he's already named her embryos and he kisses my belly like crazy and it's adorable, but I'm just really scared if this does not work out. He is going to be so devastated. I mean, we're both devastated 